So we're here to uh, palpate and treat the uh, abductor hallucis muscle. And um, this is an important muscle uh, because it's capable of compressing the uh, tibial nerve as it passes around uh, the inferior aspect of the medial malleolus. Um, the abductor hallucis attaches. You see as I adduct Tripp's big toe, you can see the skin being drawn here. Um, it attaches onto the, um, the side of the calcaneus. It also attaches a little bit to the flexor retinaculum tissue. And uh, it's quite tenuous here, becomes more fleshy, and then inserts into uh, the base of the first uh, uh, phalange of the big toe. Uh, there's variable attachment, so four-fifths of the time it attaches onto the anterior surface, or the not the anterior surface, the, um, the plantar surface of the phalange, and uh, one-fifth of the time it attaches onto the, um, the medial side. Um, if we just passively dorsiflex the big toe, then um, we can feel the tendon swinging over, and trips is sort of, um, <laughs> it's a little bit medial and it's a little bit plantar. So even though it's the abductor, uh, hallucis and should pull the toe uh, into abduction, it's going to be strongest as Trip uh, flexes his toes. So just flex your toes for us, yeah. So we can feel the tendon coming off here and then running into the substance of the muscle up into here and through here. So there's almost two heads to the muscle. That's great. And just relax again.